What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Ross Tien in the building. It's good to see y'all. I know some of y'all are still doing your post Thanksgiving workout regime. Uh, I hope that's going good for you. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been posting a lot of videos because, you know, I, I was uh, recently, I was sad because uh, one of my favorite voice actors just passed away recently. Uh, I did a video on him before. You guys know Kirby Moreau. Talented, talented brother. Gone too soon. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, I got something special planned for you guys today. So today, the show's going to be a little long. And But don't worry. It's a good show, though. And you know I always come with the facts that breaks motherfuckers back okay now what I want to talk to you guys today uh, what I want to talk about today is finding your niche right that's what I want to talk to you guys about today finding your niche I know uh, some of you have heard this before some of you haven't heard it before <clears throat> but what is a niche okay Basically, a niche, according to definition, it's a comfortable or suitable position in life or employment, right? So it's basically just trying to put you at a place where you fit in, a place where you want to be, right? And that's what we're going to talk about today because a lot of us, you know, we don't know what our what our niche is a lot of us have problems finding them and i'm going to help you with five steps that's going to give you the best of what you need in order to find your niche all right so i'm going to start it off with uh in order by list right and then i'm going to go and explain down the list about these things that you need it's five steps right okay now the first one number one is going to be evaluate your passions and skills now, that's number one number two figure out if there's a market for your niche okay number three narrow down your niche Right? And number four, check out the competition for yourself. All right? And last but certainly not the least, test your niche. Okay? So these are all five things that can be very helpful. To you. All right? Now that you know the list, I'm going to break it down break down all these steps for you so let me explain the first one number one evaluate your passions and skills now I know this sounds kind of basic but it really makes a big difference see you can't just choose a niche because you're kind of interested in it uh, or, or to be uh, sustainable it should be ideally something that you can see yourself passionate about doing at least for five years right that's what that's what you got to think about you got to think about is there something you love to do in your free time or that you do even if you weren't getting paid for it? this could be a great option for a niche it's also important to think about which areas you have special skills or experience in so what do people regularly tell you you're good at? What's your training or education in? Uh, what special skills or knowledge you've developed through your work? You see, finding an area that you're both knowledgeable about and that you love is a sweet spot for identifying your niche. I mean, <clears throat> personally, I did this with my productivity calendar. And, you know, it's worked for me. Of course, there are exceptions to the rule. 
for instance you know uh you might you, you know you might have a a business where you, you might be selling christmas tree storage boxes right and you and you probably weren't even passionate about that you weren't passionate about the product at all you might have just was passionate about running a successful business and helping your audience to find the perfect product right so you have to remember that okay that's the first one second one figure out if there's a market for your niche now having a passion for a particular niche isn't really enough you you also want to make sure that there's a need for it as well otherwise your work will stay as a hobby it'll never grow into a lucrative business so one way to start figuring out the market is with basic keyword research you know for example the, the google keyword planner is a great tool you know I, i've heard about that before so what you could do is you could you could plug in some keywords related to your niche and see which words and phrases get suggested and then you go by narrowing down the suggestions by monthly search volume competition level and suggested bid for search volume just stick to 1k to 10k per month any less than this probably means there's not much of a market for it and more and, and, and any more and it it, it may be too hard to, to rank in for search, right? For competition, go with the low medium. While this tells you how competitive the word or phrase is in AdWords, not organic search, it can still give you a general idea of organic competition levels. And for a suggested bid, higher bids often indicate a high level of commercial intent so higher bids often mean people will pay more because they make more when they rank for those keywords now let's move on to number three narrow down your niche at this point you may want to narrow your niche down even further for instance you may find that you 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 you, you, may, you may like to do uh, freelancing, right? But you may find that freelancing is a popular niche, but you want to see if you can find an even narrower focus for your niche. So one of the best ways to do this is to visit related forums. Uh, you can also visit Facebook groups and subreddits, right? You can use a tool like Reddit list to see which topics or sub niches you might want to pursue. So if you just type in your, your keywords, your, your main keywords, and scroll through the most popular subreddits to see if any appeal to you, that would be better. And you can delve even deeper by visiting these subreddits, as well as a niche group and, and a forum. There are lots of them out there for you guys to see. You will want to go and see which topics or questions come up regularly. This could help you further define your niche. You know, e.g., uh, freelance uh, science fiction writers uh, or whatever else, right? As and, and it could even help you come up with like additional sub niches or blog topic ideas for the future. All right, now, lo now let's move on to number four. Check out the competition for yourself. Keyword research is important, but you'll also want to see for yourself what the competition is like for your niche. You could Google some 
some of those keywords you found to see which sites come up on page one. You'll find one of the three things. Number one, there are already tons of well-known sites ranking for those keywords. So this niche may be oversaturated. Oversaturated meaning like a lot of people already do it. And it may be better to find one that isn't quite so popular. Number two, there are no sites ranking for those keywords. So you have to be careful here because this could this could show that there's lots of opportunity, but more likely it means others have already discovered. But you know, so there would be no margin for this niche. And number three, sites ranking for those keywords, but they're generally smaller or quality. This is generally a good sign that the niche is worth pursuing. There's likely some market for this niche and the competition won't be too harsh, right? <clears throat> okay, good. Now, at this point, you, 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 you should have, you, you know, once you get to this point, you, you should already have a chosen niche without your competition. All right? Now let's go to the very last one. Test your niche. While the market research you've already done is helpful, you know, testing the, the market in real time can, can really show you whether you're on the right track. So one way to test your niche before you set up an entire website is to create a, a landing page that promotes a free info product related to your niche. So this is easy to use when, you, when you're when you using a tool like lead pages. Next, drive traffic to see, uh, to see that landing page using AdWords. This will, this, this, this can allow you to just see how much interest there actually is in your niche and or product that you may have, both in terms of traffic and downloads. Keep in mind that, you know, if, if you're getting loads of traffic to AdWords, but not many conversations, uh, I'm sorry, uh, not conversations, I meant to say conversions. If you're not getting many conversions, it's more likely an issue with your landing page copy than you know, not the niche. Another way to, to uh, validate your niche is to survey your target market. So you have to promote your survey anywhere you have contact with your target market. In your guest posts, in your industry-related groups, on social media, via Google surveys, which you can also pay Google to promote these for you. There's many, right? So that's it for number five, all right? Now, this five-step process, it, it won't guarantee you success in finding your niche, right? Or succeeding in your niche, but what it, what it should do for you is, is spark some ideas and give you a, a great place to start. It'll also help minimize the risk of inherent in starting a niche site, saving you time, money, and frustration, right? So just remember, you know, in America, we, you know, we have a saying, uh, particularly in, the, in, in Black America, when it, comes, when it comes to trying to find a, a place where you're best uh, suited for, where you feel the best, Get in where you fit in. So remember that, guys. And then, as long as you know that, you'll have no problem finding your niche. All right, y'all, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, it was a pleasure speaking with y'all. Uh, look for our new video this weekend. And if you have any topics that you would want me to talk about or any videos or, or something like that you want me to react to, 
just leave the suggestion in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, y'all, it's been real. This is your boy Ross Tien signing out. Love, peace, and coconut grease. Ahala. <laughs>